Federal officials are expected to recommend a COVID booster shot for most Americans soon. The guidance could go into effect by mid-September. The FDA has already authorized a third dose for people with compromised immune systems. Mary Jo Ola explains what health experts are saying about potential boosters. Josh Geist headed to Hyatt Pharmacy soon after the FDA authorized an extra COVID shot for people with compromised immune systems. Josh says his treatments for multiple sclerosis compromise the vaccine's efficacy. I want every every possibility I can to be as protected as possible. I want to protect myself and all the people that I care about and, and strangers as well. Milwaukee's health department started offering those extra shots for people with weakened immune systems on Tuesday. Now, health experts stress that there is a difference between those doses to increase immunity in that specific group and the booster shots that federal officials are expected to recommend for a broader population. A booster that's being discussed now would apply eight months after a person got his or her second COVID vaccine. This comes after a key study suggested some waning of the immune response over time. Now, this is also likely coupled with increased transmissibility and severity of the currently circulating Delta strain. The information on booster doses is still coming out and will continue to follow the evidence. Dr. Jeff Potoff with UW Health says discussions about a booster does not mean the vaccines are not working. If you're currently vaccinated, even with Delta, even if you don't get a booster, your likelihood to survive an infection with COVID-19 is exceedingly high. But what we are seeing is increased breakthrough cases, uh, and that's concerning because that might mean that people who are vaccinated could spread the disease to other people. Potoff says that spread could severely sicken or kill people who are unvaccinated, and it could give the virus more chances to mutate and become resilient against vaccines. Dr. Weston does not think the booster shots are key to reversing the current rising COVID trends that we're seeing, considering the vast majority of infections, severe cases and deaths are among those who are unvaccinated. Rather, the booster shots would help maintain immunity in those who are vaccinated. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.